Hello mga math enthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria, inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa recognizing conic sections given the standard form of the equation. Now, i-identify natin or Kailangan ma-recognize natin, given the equation, ano bang klaseng conic section siya. Kung ellipse ba siya, circle, parabola, or hyperbola. Pero bago ko simulan ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na muna ang napindot nyo na dyan, ang like button. O, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell? Kung okay na, tara na. Simulan na natin. Okay. So, meron tayo ditong uh, procedure kung paano ba natin mabilis siyang ma-identify. Kaya lang mga anak ko, dapat ang equation natin ay in general form. So, yung mga Standard form dito na binigay sa atin for your learning task number 1, kailangan gawin muna natin siya in general form para ma-apply natin itong technique na ito na napanood ko kay Sir Jude Hernandez. So, credit sa kanya dito sa trick na ito. Okay, so kapag meron kayong nakitang general form ng equation, ang tanong nyo sa sarili nyo, are both the variables squared? So, i-check nyo, ha? Uh, yung pareho bang variable x and y naka-squared? Kung hindi, parabola siya. Stop ka na kasi na-identify mo. Dahil hindi sila parehong squared, parabola na siya. Ngayon, kung pareho, meron ka ulit itatanong sa sarili mo. Kung yes ang naging sagot mo. Do the squared terms have opposite signs? Itanong mo, i-check mo. Yung x squared ba, saka yung y squared, magkaiba ba sila ng sign? Kasi opposite, eh, di ba? Kung ang sagot mo ay oo, stop ka na kasi alam mo na hyperbola siya. Pero kung hindi, ibig sabihin pareho silang positive or pareho silang negative, you go here. Tanungin mo ulit sarili mo, are the squared terms multiplied by the same number? Tignan nyo yung numerical coefficient ng x squared nyo saka yung y squared nyo. Pag pareho, it means, ang sagot nyo, yes, stop ka na sa kanya kasi circle siya. Pero kung hindi sila pareho, you go to no, this is no, ibig sabihin, ellipse siya. Okay? So, para mas ma-i-apply natin to, sige, let's try this one, number one. So, for your learning task number one, given the standard form of the equation, identify the type of conics being presented. So, gawin natin itong general form para ma-apply natin yung nasa taas, ha? To make this general form, we have to multiply it by our LCD. Ang LCD lang naman natin dyan ay 12 times 11. So, yung technique natin dyan is 1, 1 plus 2, you have 3, and then 2. So, you have 132. 132 132. So, 132 x squared, kasi mumultiply mo siya dyan, divided by 12, plus 132 y squared, divided by 11, equals to 132. Now, when you divide 132 by, ele uh, by 12, di, di ba, pag dinivide mo siya by 12, di ang sagot niyan 11. So, you will have it here, 11 x squared, Plus, 132 divided by 11, ito naman yung gagamitin mo. So, ang magiging sagot dyan ay 12. So, you have here 12y squared equals to 132. Uh, ilipat mo siya dito. So, you will have here 11x squared plus 12y squared minus 132. Lahat gawin nating 0 ha para mabilis nating ma-identify. So, having this one, kaya na natin siyang i-identify kung ito ba ay anong klase ng conic section? O, unang tanong, are both variables squared? So, check natin x squared, y squared. So, yes. Do the squared terms have opposite signs? O, check natin. Positive si 11, positive si 12. So, no. Tanong ulit, are the squared terms multiplied by the same number? 
You look at the literal coefficient. Ano, ah, numerical coefficient. 11 ito, 12 ito. So, obviously, hindi. Hindi, hindi sila pareho. Hindi sila minumultiplied by the same number. So, you do not go yes, you go to no. So, dahil papunta ka kay no, anong klase siya? So, it is ellipse. So, this one is ellipse. Okay, now for number 2. Okay, let's have this one. Ano na lang tayo, shortcut ha? Pwede nyo pa rin naman gawin yung foil method, mga anak. Yung ganyan ha, yung eto, tas eto, tas eto, tas yan. Kung dyan kayo, okay. Pero eto ay shortcut ko na lang. So, square of the first term is this x squared. x times 1 times 2 is, dahil itong 1 natin ay negative, negative 2x. And then, negative 1 squared, that is 1. Okay? Plus, square of the first, so y squared, y times 2 times 2, that's a 4y. And then, squared of the last, plus a 4 equals 1. Okay? Arrange natin, x squared plus y squared. Minus 2x plus 4y plus 1 plus 4. Tapos di pa to dito. Minus 1 equals 0. So, you will have your x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 4y. 1 plus 4 is 5 minus 1 is 4. Plus 4 equals 0. Ito na ngayon yung magiging basis natin para i-identify kung anong conic section siya. So, ang una natin tanong, di ba, are both variables squared? Pareho ba? Sorry, lumagpas. X squared, Y squared, yes. So, you go to yes. Do the squared terms have opposite signs? O, check natin ha. Magkaiba ba sila ng chan, ng chan, sorry, ng, ng sign? O, magkapareho ba sila ng sign? X squared positive, Y squared positive. So, hindi. You go to no. Are the squared terms multiplied by the same number? O, you go for the numerical coefficient. Ang numerical nito ay 1. Ito din ay 1. So, pareho. Kung pareho daw, then it's a circle. So, etong number 2 natin ay circle. Okay, now for number 3. So, let's have this one. Uh, square of the first x squared, x times negative 5 times, ne times 2. x times negative 5 times 2 is negative 10x. Negative 5 squared is 25 over 2 minus square of the first, y squared, y times 4 times 2. That's 8, sorry, y. And then 4 squared is 16 equals 1. Para mawala yung 2, we have to multiply it by 2. So, you will have here, eto makakancel na lang to dito, matitira na lang dito, x squared minus 10x plus 25. Okay, and then, minus 2 times y squared plus 8y plus 16 equals 2. O, distribute to. So, you will have x squared minus 10x plus 25. So, negative 2 times y squared is negative 2y squared. Negative 2 times 8 is negative 16. Aha, negative 16y. Sorry, nakaparentesis dapat to ha dito. Nakaparentesis sila. Kaya, i-distribute yung negative sign din ha. So, negative 2 times 16 is negative 32 and then equals 2. O, lipat yung si 2 dito. You will have here, arrange na natin ha. X squared. Okay na to. Minus 2y squared. Tanggal na. Negative 10x. Okay. Negative 16y. Plus 25. Minus 32. And then minus 2. Equals 0. So, you will have here x squared minus 2y squared minus 10x minus 16y. 25 minus 32 is negative 7 minus 2 is negative 9. Equals 0. So, eto na ngayon yung basis natin. Ha? O, tanong natin. Ano yung tanong unang-una? 
are both variables squared. Dahil ito ay squared, x squared, negative 2y squared, so pareho. And then, ang tanong, do the squared terms have opposite signs? Meron ba silang magkaibang sign? Yung x squared positive, yung y squared negative. So, yes. Dahil siya ay yes, it means tayo ay, or etong given na to ay, hyperbola. So, this one, ay sorry, dito pala yun. This one is hyperbola. Okay, now let's go to number 4. We have this one. So, square of the first, y squared, y times 1 times 2. So, that's 2y. And then, 1 squared, you have 1. Equals to distribute 15x. 15 times 2, you have 30. Lumagpas to. <laughs> and then, lipat sila pareho doon. y squared plus 2y plus 15x plus 1 minus 30 equals 0. So, y squared plus 2y plus 15x minus 29 equals 0. Kung mapapansin nyo, ay, ilan yung naka-squared? Isa lang, ba? Y squared lang, ba? So, ibig sabihin, sa unang tanong, are both variables squared? Ang sagot mo, no. Which means, ano siya? Parabola na siya. Okay? Wala nang ibang tanong pa. Basta isa lang yung naka-squared, parabola na siya. Okay? And then, let's go to number 5. Okay, x squared over 100 plus y squared over 16 equals 1. So, ang gawin lang natin dyan is 100 times 16 for the LCD. So, that's 1, 6. So, we have here 16 and then 16. Ah, no, 1, 6 nga eh. Okay, so 1, 6 divided by 100 is 16. So, ito magiging 16 x squared lang. And then, 1, 6 times y squared is 1, 6 divided by 16. So, that's 100 y squared equals to 1, 6. Lipat lang to dito. So, 16 x squared plus 100 y squared minus 1, 6. Para lahat tayo 0. Uh, equals k 0. Okay, now having this one. Ano kaya siyang klase? Oh, let's see ha. Are both variables squared? Yes, ba? Pareho. Wait, baba tayo. X squared, Y squared. Next question. Do the squared terms have opposite signs? May op opposite signs ba sila? Tingnan nga natin. Positive, positive. So, no. <laughs> Babakal pa si Teacher Maria. Are the squared terms multiplied by the same number? Pareho ba yung numerical coefficient? Isang 16, isang 100. So, obviously, the answer is no. Pero dahil no ang answer natin, ibig sabihin, eto ay ellipse. Okay, so this one is ellipse. Ganun lang mga anak ko, ha? So, kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na ito dahil natulungan ko kayo, please i-comment yan sa ating comment section, ha? Mga anak, ang mga comments ninyo ay mahalaga para maap ang video na ito at makita din naman siya ng iba. Saka mga anak, please uh, share to your classmates, ha? Ang onti ng views natin sa grade 11. Hindi ko alam kung ano nangyayari. Ano ba nagkukopyahan ba kayo dyan? Ha? Please don't. Dahil ang mahalaga ay matutunan nyo yung procedure, hindi ang answer. Okay? Kaya, sana ma-visit nyo ako sa Facebook page ko, Love Ma TV, and ma-follow nyo ako. Sige na mga anak ko, uh, simple request lang ni Teacher Maria. Okay? At laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you, and bye!